Hey guys, it's Cyrus Twits here from Ascend Trading. I'm just going to give a quick recap on a stock sticker. It's Counter Counterpath Corporation, ticker symbol Charlie Papa Alpha Hotel. That's CPH. It was a 300% mover um, on Friday. Um, pre market, this thing rocketed. But what I want to focus on is giving you a snippet so you can actually use this as a reference for when you're using Ninja, Ninja Scalper, because a lot of guys are asking some questions about the setups and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use this ticker symbol here as an example. So it had already moved up to $3.34 and, and, and come down a little bit. And then we had a giant spike at 322 you can see that in the black at 322 this spiked and took off now if we reference this to ninja scalper at 320 ninja scalper gave you an alert for a breakout buy on a potential trade reversal right here so it's saying that the trade can reverse here so we've been going negative and then it gave you at 321 the blue buy it was a blue plus one buy for a setup it also gave you a plus one long for a setup so you know buying this candle here is going to be profitable off of this you've got two alerts alert to go long and alert to buy at plus one usually what i'm waiting for is i'm waiting for this reversal here and then I'm waiting for a blue plus two buy. But this is just as good as a blue plus buy too. I got two, two entries in here. And then a minute later, you've got this spike. So it went from 340 all the way up to 410. So that's 70 cents. Or about... Uh, let's see, twenty percent in a minute, and you had three things at play. You have the golden dump line, which is what it was sitting on, and a golden dump line gave it support, and then you had the violet here, our purple line. Now, purple over gold is a buy. Gold over purple is a short. Okay, keep that in mind, guys. Purple over gold is a buy. Gold over purple is a short. So you've got this alert here telling you there's a, a potential for a trade reversal. You've got this alert here telling you that if volume comes in, a breakout will occur over here. You've got an alert right here telling you to go long. You've got an alert telling you to buy. And it's all sitting on this golden dump line. And then you break out. It doesn't break by closing under this purple line till you hit right here. So as you see it here, it gave you a short idea here telling you that this is possibly topping out. Remember, purple over gold is still a buy. It gave you a possible reversal here. So you know that there was a pullback. It told you that you could have an idea to go long here. And this is, a, this is another setup, right? Um, when you use Ninja Scalper, you'll see which setups on which stocks, on which time frame work better and are stronger. I personally don't trade the green bullish buy, buy idea. That's not a setup on me for me. It's um, based on the candle setup. It's usually something I won't trade. For me, I'm usually going to stick with this green breakout out the blue buys after a uh, trade reversal. And these short ideas here are looking at areas that I would look to take the size off or get out of the trade. So, you're in here all the way. Don't close till here. And this is your first candle closing underneath the purple line in the EMAs. That as a rule is to exit. This being said, since I got a short idea, my stop loss would have been set here at just above four. So four or five would have been my stop loss. 
So when this here wicked down, I would have been stopped out for sure. And definitely when this closed, I would have stopped out. Now with Ninja Scalper, it's going to tell you right here, you see this close entry, buys, it's saying exit. Exit your trades. Also, if you were shorting, it's a possible area for you to close that short. So if you took this short idea here, then you're closing your short here. The scalp, and that's all you're doing when you're, you're trading penny stocks is you're scalping. The same thing you're going to do when you're going to trade crypto, you're scalping. Okay, And that's why you're using these one-minute time frames or five-minute time frames or even a 15-minute time frame. You're looking to scalp the trade. If you're looking to go long-term, you're going to use a longer-term time frame. So this tells you to get out of your trades that you would have entered. So these trades here would have been exited by here. And that's pretty much bang on 407-ish. Then you run into what we call a bull versus bear. This is an area of confusion. You don't know if it's going to go up. You don't know if it's going to go down. This is a no trade zone. So you do not enter a trade. If anything, you put your stops in place and get ready to exit a trade. And then as you come through, you had your sell idea here. And you had your short idea to end the day. So you would have got this short in. Would have been about 25 cent, 15 cents short. Give it or take when you got into it. So if you got into it here on this, or if you got into it here in this, 15, 25 to 15 cents. Um, when you take that over your shares, this was this was only a, a four dollar stock at its highest price, like four fifty at its highest price, I believe. So you would have been able to take this with a thousand shares. That would only cost you four thousand um, five hundred dollars, roughly, to take this short, and that's easily $150, $250 right there on that short alone. And if you would have got this long here for your 1,000 shares, it's like a $1,000 profit as this moved a dollar. So potentially off a $5,000 investment max, you could have taken this trade long, made $1,000, Taking this trade short made another $250 to $150. So $1,200 could have been on this one play. And Ninja Scalper pretty much breaks it down for you and gives you the idea. Key takeaways from this, this, this talk, guys. Potential for reversal here. Green bullish buy means that if volume comes in, you have a potential for a breakout. Okay? It means continuation. You had your blue buys and your blue longs came in here and then the volume followed and then you were able to ride this keep in mind guys once you get your first short idea you need to start setting your stop to exit and a beautiful place to set a stop to exit is using your purple line so any candle that stops underneath that you want to close out your trade you definitely do not want to hold on to a trade if it candle closes within EMAs so let's say the, the purple line is not anywhere close for you to use a support line like it was on this one. Well, once this candle closes within the EMAs as it did here, you want to exit your trade also. You don't want to wait for this to tell you to close your entry, your order buys. So let's zoom this in, guys, so you can see it's even closer. So... And this all set up perfectly because you had the momentum squeeze starting to flip. We entered just before the flip. So we entered and then it squeezed. And that's what you rode. And this here was the end of the squeeze. And you still had a little bit of life left in it. And then it exits. And now you're into the negative squeeze. So... This stock is closed for trading, so tomorrow it'll open pre-market. We'll see where it sits. If you have any questions, guys, 
feel free to jump into the Discord. Send me, send me, send me a message. Post, post in the Discord. There's tons of other traders there that can help you out in this.